So the return of the Hunter Chases then. The restricted Hunters chase this one. Two and a half miles. Not to 100 handicap. Wendy's Worms for Graham Clutterbuck. Macanal, Darren House, Pipe and Lie, James Follis, Darling of Dionysus, Martin Lidham, Vidaville, Alex Cherry in your grasp, Daniel French, Deep Shanghai, Doug Warren and Rose Park, Stu Gray. I know Stu Gray really likes these races and really should be getting him to commentate on them because he likes to talk about the ploughed fields and the scenery and stuff. So we'll make sure we get Stu back on these next week. And in your grasp is the first to show as they pass the winning post with goodness knows how many circuits to go. It's not a track I'm familiar with. It could be two, could be three, probably two, I think. And in your grasp is the leader. And will be 14 fences to take eventually. And they're big ones as well. Look at that. Oh, they go. They're all over it. Okay. And um, let's hope they're pretty soft. Otherwise, we won't get many finishes because those fences look pretty big. And in your grasp, stood off that one, got over it. Okay. They're all over the second. Your grasp leads for Daniel French. Then comes Pipe and Lied, Macanal, Darling of Dionysus on the inside as they take that one. Deep Shanghai, just the back marker. They sorted themselves out, got used to the jumping. They've got two miles still to race. And seem to be forever on the turn. They're on the turn again there. A bit of a straight here, and then they're going to be on the turn again. So, interesting course. And in your grasp leads by four. To Pipe and Lloyd and Darling of Dionysus and Macanal as they take the next one. Oh, that one, okay, jumping well. It's for the horses who probably didn't perform all that well in the first week and have got a low rating. Some of these may have just had a bad run last week and won't be running in this grade all season. Some of them you'll see in the Hunter Chases every week, no doubt. But, uh, it's early days yet. And, Horses haven't really found their level at the moment. In your grasp, he's in front. I'll we'll see quite a few of these trying to get a hurdle rating next week as they skip over the fifth. I'm still running this, you actually have run last week. I'll be a returner, of course. And in your grasp, leads over the sixth with Darling of Dionysus and Pipe and Light here. The Pipe and Light was definitely around last season. Wendy's Worms is next, then Rose Park, Deep Shanghai. That may well have been around last year for Doug as well. As they take that very sharp turn, and make their way towards the next. Over that one they go. They're all jumping okay. You can see the fences are big, but they're not particularly hard because they're going through the top, leaving much dust. As the rain comes down, there's the winning post again. So we've got one more circuit to go. And it's a nine and a half furlong um, track. This one, which is pretty tight, for a jumps track. And in your grasp has led all the way so far. Pipe and Light is second, and Darling of Dionysus, then Wendy's Worms as they take the eighth. Oh, well, that one, okay. Vidaville is just a back marker, but no one, it doesn't, it's off the lead. Uh, they're all still in with just as much chance as they had at the start as they take the next. And a slow jump by Deep Shanghai at the back. And in your grasp leads, Darling of Dionysus is second as they come to the tenth. Oh, the leader made a mistake, and we've lost one there. It's Rose Park that's gone, so... The biggest fan of a hunter chases is out of the race. And in your grasp, having to reassert to claim the lead. And Wendy's Worms on the outside. Lots of book normally does well in these races. Darling of Dionysus is between the two. Bit of a gap to Pipe and Lion, who knows how to win these races. Macanal is next in Vidaville and Deep Shanghai. Just a little bit detached, but we're getting down towards the business end of the race now. Then, as we skip over the 11th, and we've got just three more to take. And in your grasp has got back into the lead. Darling of Dionysus is in second. Then Wendy's Worms. Then Pipe and Lion is going ominously well. Pretty sure that won some races last year. Bit of a gap then back to the remainder, who probably look beaten now. Macanal, Vidaville, and Deep Shanghai. It's between these front four, I think, as they come to the final three and a half furlongs and the final three fences in this race. And in your grasp is in the lead from Darling of Dionysus second. Bit of a gap back to Pipe and Lied and Wendy's Worms. It's surely between these over the third last they go. It might come down to the jumping. And in your grasp under pressure from Darling of Dionysus on the outside. Gap back to Pipe and Lied. Wendy's Worms over the second last they go. And in your grasp looks to be going better now. Darling of Dionysus looks to be petering out. And it's in your grasp. It looks like he's going to be pulling away to take this one. It's the final fence they go. Surely if he jumps it he wins it. Sharp turn. Comes down towards the final fence. A good jump to win, I think. Darling of Dionysus is trying to run on. Gets over it well. The leader, Darling of Dionysus, is trying to close. It's in your grasp in the lead. Less than half a furlong to go, but in your grasp has got enough in that time to take it. And in 
Romeo grunts, holds on, and wins it bravely. Going with Barney is his second, and Wendy's wins and pop and load and luck and all. Vitaville and finally deep Shanghai. And it's a win for Daniel French, and in your grasp takes the first hunter chase of the season. Darling of Dionysus was second, Wendy's Worms for Graham Clutter was third, Pipe and Line for James Follis fourth, and Macanel for Darren Howells was fifth.